Good morning, folks. Many of the SDO images are now back and updating. We're still without the corona hole wavelengths, but GOES SXI will fill in there when we need it to. Top space weather event of the last day occurred as that large plasma filament ripped away from our star and released into space. This eruption is going to miss our planet as it heads towards Mercury and Saturn instead. And while that rope has erupted, most others have not. Each of the long, dark, thin, curving lines here is another of those plasma snakes, so eyes on those today for further activity. Solar flaring is on the decline after that brief surge upward. Incoming sunspot groups pretty much responsible for the flare flashing seen here in 94 angstroms, so let's take a look at them. Tiny guy departing, but the show is on the incoming section with the larger umbras and the potential to mix magnetically, and yet they just have not done so, thus the lower level of solar flaring. Eyes on them for more. I've got the last three days of solar wind here from Discover. Particle speed in green remains elevated into day two of that faster bunch, and yet Earth has handled this steadily more intense stream with ease due to it being somewhat stable with fewer fluctuations. Top stories beneath our feet from the last day include a five-pointer that hit California, always rare in that location, and on the Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia there was another volcano reaching for the stars. Interesting read today coming out of the American Geophysical Union. Read about how the Cold War was almost ignited to red hot when a solar storm decided to jam military comm systems. Folks, if you didn't know, the best meteor shower of the year is at hand. If you are out just before sunrise, look directly up towards the top of the sky to find the Perseid meteor shower. If you are out closer to the middle of the night, look a bit down east towards where the sunrise would be. This was the scene in Chicago yesterday with a rare inner city twister that managed to not cause much damage. However, this up in Montana ooh, got a tremendous amount of rainfall. This is that same system that dropped at least one tornado in Canada where the storms had a bit more motion. Folks, check out the site if you are new here, suspiciousobservers.org. There's a lot to catch up with. And if you missed our morning news from two days ago, Monday the 8th, the next step in our sun and earthquakes challenge took place, you will not want to miss that one. We've got pressure and radar forecast from across the globe, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.